Hello, in this video I'm going to take a look at the admin thank you email and I'm going to run through it real quick and show you a few ways you can tell that this email is a scam. And I'm going to start by copying this domain right here. It's called trafficwithsolos.com and I'm going to open URL void and I'm going to paste what I just copied into the search box and then click submit and the first step we took already tells us that this is a bad email it has been blacklisted. It was detected by Spamhouse DBL, My Web of Trust, and Serval. And I'm going to close this out. The first paragraph of the email says, It really means a lot to me that you take the time to read my emails. And for that, I have prepared something special just for you. Then it says, Hit the ground running starting right now. And then it gives a link here. At the end of the link, you see the red circle. It's Web of Trust. If it's red, it means stay away. It's not a safe link. If it was green, it would mean it was a safe link and you could click on it. If it was yellow, it means that you're clicking this link at your own risk. And when it is yellow, that means that it's headed towards red. And it will be red soon. And you have three more links down here that Web of Trust is saying do not click. And then here's another one down here at the bottom also. And down at the bottom, it says by reading this, you agree to all of the following. You understand this to be an expression of opinions and not professional advice. You are solely responsible for the use of any content. If you purchase anything through a link in this email, you should assume that we have an affiliate relationship with the company providing the product or service that you purchase and that we will be paid in some way. And yeah, they'll definitely be paid in some way. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the drop down arrow here and I'm going to go to show original I'll right click click on select all right click again copy open IP net info paste what I just copied into the box and then click OK and it started in California at the Google server went to Virginia stayed in Virginia and then went to California and I'm going to click on this Virginia entry right here and then I'm going to copy this domain right here earning1000.com I'm going to go back to Google go back to URL void I'm going to paste what I just copied into the search box and then click submit and it's saying that this site is blacklisted also and this time it was detected by Spamhouse DBL so we have definitely determined that this email is a fake Use the tools I've shown you in this video. Use Web of Trust. Use IPNet Info URL Void. I'm going to have a trailer at the end of this video to show you how to install each of them. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. To get WOT in Firefox, you go to the drop down menu and then to add ons. And then under get add ons, you go to the search bar and you type WOT, all capital letters, and hit enter and it's not showing up here because I already have it installed but it would be up here and you just highlight it and then go to the right over here and click the install button you'll probably have to restart Firefox after you install it but once you restart it then it's running and if you're using Google Chrome you go to the settings menu here and then go to tools and then to extensions and here it shows the extensions that I already have that are enabled and disabled and I don't really want any of these so I'm going to disable all of them. And then I'm going to go to get more extensions. And in the search box I'm going to type WOT, all capital letters, and hit enter. And here it is right at the top. So now I'm just going to click on the add to Chrome button. Click add. And here it is right up here now. So now Web of Trust is running on the web browser. I'm going to close everything out. And to get IPNet info, I'm going to type CNET, hit enter, click on download.com, and in the search box, type IPNet info, all one word, hit enter. Here it is right here. I'm going to click the download button.
we'll save the file. If you have the option to run, go ahead and run. The download's complete, and now I'm just going to click on it, and the setup wizard will open. Then you guys just follow the instructions from there. I'm going to cancel this out, close everything up.